All right, let's play <clears throat> this in full. Actually, yeah, I know that rig. It's a cool rig. Animation is cool. I'm gonna let it play out before I comment. Some interesting stuff. All right. My main impression is that it's soft. Where action actions just feel kind of spliny and floaty. And lacking weight. I think that's the main main critique that I have. It's almost like a, a soft dance, but not all of it. Because all this is cool. I like all of this. I think the only thing that I would look at for here is that this doesn't seem um, heavy just because it seems like it's... I see it a little bit behind that foot. Hold on. Let me be fancy in the color you can see. So that seems a bit behind that. But to me, it feels like you want to trail this this spiky ball back here with the chest rotated uh, this side away from us because this side is pulling him back uh, as he moves towards us, right? And through here, you go kind of back and forth between a bent arm kind of stretched. And it doesn't seem like it would be fairly stretched out, maybe slightly bent, but he's kind of pulling it along. I do like this, that there's a rotation in there. But then after that, it feels very, very straight. Like it's going to be pulled along those spikes. That's going to be digging inside, inside the ground. But then it might come out and rotate. And then it's it's going to be hooked up on this. Um, I think given that this is not just a ball, it's going to be a lot more complex to show. So either you you do show the weight and it's pulling him backwards as he comes forward. And, and contact points will change as this rotates you know, a little bit. It needs to be a little bit uneven. Or you don't do it and you just have the character always kind of like that arm up this way but leaning over this way for the balance just to avoid the complications of this that's totally up to you that'll be my comment through here but this is cool like it seems like he's getting ready i mean like who is he yelling at but then this guy comes in which is cool too I like this, this good energy there. Comes in fast. And I like that there's kind of a... I mean, you could push the anticipation. It's a bit small. It seems to be part of the run. It does get lower, but if there's anything you can do to... Uh, you know, it could be a moment where maybe arms are out. This is very twin here, but arms are out. And really bent over and the head down here. But we can really feel that squash. And then that coming up and it might be an up where maybe the legs are closer together so it's just a bit more streamlined maybe there's just something about if you shoot really really fast up but then the legs are kind of out like this it doesn't give you that that arrow feeling of pew, shooting up feels like that you could push and i'll be careful i don't know if that's an enveloping or a breaking the rig issue i'm not sure it looks a bit funky but to me it seems like you want to push that especially when foot is here and then you push off that foot was here, but now it's here. Like to me, it would be pointing where you just pushed off. For sure on the on one frame after. Towards the end, you can maybe start, you know, being this pose maybe. But that would be my thing there. But I do like that it's kind of a surprise and there's contrast between what well, this character is too fast and boom, this guy's the, uh, you know, lumbering, is that a word? <laughs> it's a slow moving uh, character because of this weight. I think that's cool. And I like that. It takes a while. It goes, oh, what's going on here? Uh -huh. And I do like the handheld feel of the camera. I think the first half is all really, really cool. That's all neat. And it's not too much. Let's see. I like that it's a bit of a an adjustment. I'm not sure if you need to have such a quick adjustment in the camera here. I'm glad that there is no shake. I need to overdo it with shake. But I think you can... I would soften that. This feels like the camera comes down because of... Bam, that slam. Like, oh, I need to reframe the slam. But I don't know if that's that important. That seems a bit presentational. I think you can soften that and just keep that handle and follow. I think if you do a lens change like that, uh, not a lens change, but you look like a focus change, I would start a bit slow and then zoom. And then zoom out just a bit faster. And then with a tiny bit of an overshoot coming back uh, as if it was a hand that adjusts that. This is overall a bit slow. I think it could a bit more texture in that timing of slow and then that 
then he reacts and again i don't mind him reacting slowly because it's kind of like oh what's happening but then when this character comes in i think then it falls apart and that's pretty much halfway through so when this character comes in that's cool there's an immediate impact on this but then this seems very very soft and the dance feel is that they are they are helping each other because it's such a oh i'm i'm bringing you over with my hands and there's no impact like to me it would seem like we pow, pow, like i can roll off and then squat and crouch with maybe one foot locked and then the other one kind of sliding out for an interesting line of action like this but now it's kind of coming down fast and floating over this way sliding and there's barely barely a compression there's a little bit through here and then suddenly he can jump over this way which again let's go real time it's, it's again it feels a bit it's not super slow but it, it's that lands that feels super floaty if you have less of a slide more compression then bam, like take a frame or two out for more of an explosive jump because again you want to contrast slow with agile and fast that is okay like this i don't mind we're to a point where i would probably add actually a frame potentially to this where suddenly those legs shoot over a bit fast mainly because it's the spacing is so small and then you have one or two frames of fast but then it's slow again it, then if it's like that it seems always a bit like a, a bit of a pop you can go like explosive bring your legs over but then i would shoot those legs over really far and then with a little bit of an overshoot adjustment with maybe one leg just to give a bit of a you know the momentum has to go somewhere that is definitely feeling like you're easing into that drop and this feels fairly soft and strange how it just collapses like your kill is heel which was explode here i don't mind that he lands in this see that feels better with it with a foot roll but just that land feels just very very soft then he gets really really i'm going to focus on on him since he's the biggest floaty guy here that again feels this feels hollywood where they're on wires as a harness they're wires and they're slowly pulling him up unless you unless you use reference and it's actors on wires same thing here once you get up there that feels just kind of it has a nice bouncy feel let's put it this way but it's just very very soft this feels also very soft and very playful you might argue well maybe uh this guy is playful how he fights with him but even this if you look at the feet it's all very just a tad too slow and just very very soft especially this pirouette here this turn very soft and then he keeps on bouncing so i mean my question to you is are you trying to show that this character is playing with this character and that's why it's almost like muhammad ali i'm I, you know too quick like a butterfly i should know that quote Sting like a bee. You know, it just this seems very, very bouncy and floaty. So it's pretty... I guess it's a question for you. Um, I don't see anything uh, in the email turnover, any info on that. So let me know and then I can adjust my critique. Like in terms of what this character is doing, watch out on something like this, how this ball comes out. Again, you're pushing the ball forward. And to me, it would be, no, 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 he is turning. And then that ball is still there and it's dragging. It's really dragging for the weight. The, the body is really twisting and leading the whole action. Like that is cool. I like this here, even though here I would stretch it out and just really play up that silhouette and bring it high up there to something like this. This feels better. <clears throat> but the fact that this is bent towards us, again, loses its weight a bit. Now you might argue, yeah, but he is swinging it this way. Wouldn't that ball go this way? Yes. But then I would just, wouldn't swing as hard. Then I would just start going up here. Up and up and up. You know what I mean? You just start to swing earlier. Even though this is a nice silhouette, I would prefer a nicer silhouette here and compromise this sooner. Boom. But that's cool. I like that impact. Boom. And it stays put. Maybe you can have, well, she does pretty good for the weight. I was thinking maybe a little bit of a roll in, maybe like one or two frames of a crack but i like how he continues to move forward boom that really shows the momentum has to continue on when there's so much swing that's going to pull that character forward that's all cool that impact see to me i would do from here to here and eliminate this so it's 
Pow! And even then, after this, I would eliminate this frame and go straight to here. That's when I miss QuickTime. With QuickTime, I could just edit those frames out. And so that impact is a bit faster. Even this recovery seems a bit slow, how it comes down. And watch out your arc, it feels a bit linear. That smack is a bit better, but again, I would probably take out this frame and give it just a lot of impact and force through here. Although I do like how then the arm continues swinging, but then our sloop kind of continues turning that head in Y. It seems like after this, it's just a ragdoll. But then, but the thing is, if you're doing this, I'm what you could do to get this feeling of ragdoll and this guy is just completely knocked out. I would just do... See, I'm not quite buying this either. But the head is turned away. Is this I'm trying to grab or is this a please stop, please stop? I can't really tell the difference. So what I would do here is... Boom, he does that swing back. All of this with his arm is happening. And then to me, I would just dangle that arm so that the, uh, the arc is up and then down here and keep that arm down so that you really play up. I'm knocked out. I'm already a ragdoll. And boom. And then it's that. And then if you are playing up the fact that he's bouncy to play around, give this another second where after this, bounce one more time to land chest towards camera so he can gloat. And then you might as well end with a Muhammad Ali type of thing where he's, you know, he's looking down onto the character you just defeated, if that's, you know, part of the reference that you're going for. Or just me projecting. <laughs> All right, that's kind of it. That's my impression on this shot. There's some cool stuff in it. My main concern is the weight. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.